a designer is charged with indecent exposure for allegedly jacking off on a plane. Yeah. Jack life is in, in full effect, ladies and gentlemen. Jack life is in full effect. So designer is charged with indecent exposure for jacking on a plane. Now, this is not how I anticipated starting off the day uh, with the Millionaire Morning Show. But we got to give the awards to the people that are fumbling the bag and not doing the things that they're supposed to do in order to get to that, that next level in life. All right. So let's just go through. He was hit with a federal charge on Monday uh, for allegedly jacking on an international on an international flight, <laughs> claiming he exposed himself because he hadn't had box in a week. Let me blow that up a little bit for the people in the back. Just want to make sure that we all in the same space. He claimed he exposed himself, and I'm gonna be reading super chat shortly. He exposed himself because he hadn't had box in a week. Now, I know that there's a lot of people that's going to sit here and tell me about de-discipline, that you shouldn't have to have any as a man. Designer uh, in a situation that he's facing probably would tell you otherwise. The 25-year-old rapper whose real name is Sidney Royale Selby III was charged with one misdemeanor count of indecent exposure. Over allegations, he exposed himself multiple times starting around 60 to 90 minutes into the Delta flight from Tokyo to Minneapolis on April 17th, a criminal complaint alleged. Now, here's the question that I have for you guys, right? Anton recently booked the flight over to Tokyo. At what point do you feel comfortable enough to publicly pull out your cock and start beating off with children on a flight now, this is one thing that I know for sure, right? Because I recently booked a flight over to Tokyo. That is a 13-hour flight from Metro Detroit direct over to Tokyo. You are on a 13-hour flight, and you are beaten off multiple different times on a plane, and we are supposed to look at you guys as sane? You know what the funniest part about it is, is that even though this is a small example of what it is that we see within our culture, this is also the type of people that we celebrate and we put on a pedestal. Not Maybe not designer himself because he's not as hot right now, but ultimately a lot of time we take advice from these people, we pedestalize them, we say that they awesome and all of that other type of stuff, but let's continue to get into it. Uh, it said, after a flight attendant spotted him exposing himself, <laughs> he quickly covered up only to be caught five minutes later by members of the flight crew. Oh, my Jesus. He was again told no. <laughs> he was told no, sir. Cover yourself up. And even after he was told he was going to be arrested, he was seen exposing himself for a third time. Travel buddies, two of them, agreed to watch him the rest of the flight when he was moved to the back of the plane where he apologized to a security guard and claimed he was bugging and messed up. Am I missing something here, ladies and gentlemen? Am I missing something here? You are on an international flight from Tokyo over to Minneapolis and you have to have two travel buddies and security watch you and then be moved to the back of the plane and you apologize for bugging. When he got up from his first class seat to move to the back, you know what's so funny about this? This is getting worse and worse. When he got up from his first class seat and moved to the back, mm, first and foremost, on an international flight, I'm riding Delta One. So my plane ticket. Uh, is going to cost significantly more. However, I'm going to have a level of privacy. You see, because if you have an, a, a first class flight, because there's four different rows of flights, right? You got Delta One, which you have the individual pods where you can lay all the way down or whatever. And maybe he could have got away with it. Uh, but, you know, he got brawls in Atlanta and he'd be screaming. So he's probably a little bit more aggressive with his uh, jacket, right? Um <laughs> 
But you have one pod on the on the left, two in the middle, like that are co-joined, especially if you like a couple, and then you have one on the right. So it's one, two, one. One, two, one. Now, first class is two, four, two. Okay? And then it's Delta Comfort, Comfort Plus, which is like a regular seat with a little bit more amenities and a little bit more leg room, and then you got regular main cabin, right? Um, but they moved him from first class all the way to the back of the plane. And when he got up from his first class seat to move to the back, a jar of Vaseline dropped in the aisle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. This is getting worse and worse. Oh, look at this guy. Could you imagine this guy beating off next to you when you sit next to him in a first class flight? That's insane, yo. Before he was taken into their custody, he apologized to the flight crew. When talking to the FBI, he allegedly told an agent he didn't get much in Japan and showed his magic stick to one of the flight attendants he found attractive. Ah, so this is starting to become a little bit more um, well thought out. So the goal wasn't just him beating, right? The goal was for him to possibly attract the flight attendant that wanted some of his magic stick because he couldn't really get no box when he was over in Tokyo, Japan. And so maybe the flight attendant was similar to a corrections officer in which she's willing to give that stick a ride. Who knows? That's what he's saying. He said he also exposed himself because he hadn't had anything in like a week. The agent understood it to mean sex. When the agent asked if his actions interfered with the flight attendant's job, he outrageously replied, I thought I was giving her encouragement to keep pushing, you know what I mean? Keep striving for it. <laughs> he also told the agent he was not under the influence during the flight. Look at this guy. Could you imagine this guy right here? This guy right here. And you trying to do your job. And you trying to take care of business. And you trying to service all of the different people. And you got to give multiple different meals throughout the flight. And can you imagine that this crazy mother effer right here, don't worry, y'all, I've been doing a lot better with my cussing. This crazy mother effer right here uh, is pulling out his cock and he's yanking himself on this flight. That's wild. Me and this dude couldn't even be friends no more. The rapper known for his hit Panda said on social media Thursday he was seeking mental health th treatment, noting he was ashamed of his actions on a flight back to the U.S. without elaborating. He said, for the past few months, I have not been okay. I've been struggling to come to terms with what is going on. Uh, while overseas for a concert I performed, that I had to be admitted into the hospital. I was not thinking clearly. They gave me meds. I had to, I had to hop on a plane home. I am ashamed of my actions. I happened. That happened on the plane. I landed back to the States. I am admitting myself into a facility to help me. I will be canceling all of my shows and any obligations until further notice. Mental health is real, guys. Please pray for me. If you're not feeling like yourself, please get help. He concluded. Listen, listen. I don't want any kind of advice from designer on how to deal with any of my own personal issues. I don't want any advice from this guy right here on how to deal with my own personal health issues. First and foremost... Uh, not to sound mean or anything, but the reality is that I think that he's just saying this. Everybody leans on a whole mental health argument when they get caught doing something that they're not supposed to do. Oh, I had a problem I hadn't addressed. Oh, man, I should have been hospitalized. Oh, I've been dealing with depression. No, you've been dealing with an overabundance of being overly stimulated uh, by watching and being on sites that you shouldn't be on. Uh, and you don't have any level of control to where you don't even have decorum on a plane back on a plane ride back to where it is that you're supposed to be in the first place. This is not health issues. This is just somebody that's doing what they want to do when they want to do it. And they think that the world is supposed to just move over as a result of it. This is dumb. This is absolutely stupid. I started to play a lawyer's perspective on what's happening, but I don't even want to continue to entertain this conversation because I think that it's done. I think that the very idea that he's on the New York Post saying that he got charged with indecent exposure for allegedly jacking off on a flight is unacceptable. There's a lot of things that I can deal with in life. One of the things that I think is absolutely egregious 
is publicly doing things that you're not supposed to be doing that only is supposed to happen behind closed doors. I don't even want to see two men kissing in public. I think that that's egregious. I think that that's absolutely positively disrespectful if I see two men kiss in public. That's just me. Call me phobic. Call me whatever it is that you want to call me. But I, I just don't think that kids should be able to see that type of stuff. If kids cannot see it, in my opinion, then it is something that should not be happening uh, at all. So, shout out to designer for looking like a whole fool, not a half fool.